Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the T44 review, the Russian tier 8 medium tank. So this thing in my book is one of the worst tier 8 medium tanks and if you think about it, what can you nominate as being worse than this? The only thing that comes to my mind is this thing, the T34 2, the Chinese tier 8 medium. Other than that, I'm pretty sure every other tier 8 medium is better than this. And we'll talk about why a bit later, but let's look into the armor now. So, 90 upper, 90 lower, the angles are not very high, something like, what, 55 degrees, something like that. So, don't expect to bounce anything other than tier 6s from this thing's frontal hull. It's not gonna happen. Turret, however, it's kind of similar story. I mean, these parts are really weak, 130. These are even easy pen for tier 8s or tier 6s or even... Uh, some uh, light tanks as well. Same goes on the other side, but the gun mantlet can be troll and can be shit. I run the gun, there's no armor behind it, so it's around 120. So if you shoot this thing in the gun, you might uh, pen with quite ease. But uh, if you shoot somewhere higher here, it's 500 armor or some silly shit like that. So I wouldn't try to go for the turret if you can see the hull. Uh, the the side armor on the hull is 75 which is really good for a tier 8 medium and that is something to note. You can side scrape with this tank reasonably well and the side armor can save your ass quite often as well and if you combine that to the tracks you can see like you can get some silly armor values here so that is something to note. But enough said about the armor let's look into the soft stats the tank was buffed, I'm not even sure if this uh, this uh, red fire is true now or is it not, probably is since it's higher than on the other, the other tank, uh, whatever. Uh, aiming circle spread, mixed bag here, on full speed traversing it's better, on full speed moving it's worse, and on full speed, on turret full speed traversing it's way worse than on the T-34-2. Uh, mobility wise though, Really good power to weight, 20.03, it's kind of a thing you get used to on the Russian mediums from tier 8 up and the terrain resistance is way worse than on the Chinese counterpart but the Chinese tank gets uh, worse uh, specific power so yeah the tanks are kind of similar, uh, the T-34-2 gets slightly better turret armor but yeah let's get into the replay. Time to roll out. Playing on Red Shire with Zircon and Max, they're playing, Zircon's playing Object 416 and Maxwell's playing the T-34. So, first order of business on this map is to try to get some early spots in the middle of the map, so going to the middle as fast as I can. I had a pretty good spawn for this as well. Let's look into some stats before the game starts properly. So, 1308 points, which is rather standard for a TA-8 medium, 51 km top speed forwards, 20 backwards. 44 degree traverse on the hull, 48 degree traverse on the turret, which is really good. 380 meter view range. Average damage per shot is 250. Average penetration of AP is 175. Average penetration of APCR is 235. Where the big difference is between T34 2 and uh, the T44. The rate of fire on the T44 is better, not by much, but. Oh, like 0.4 runs per minute. Accuracy on the T44, 0.35, uh, T34, 2, 0.39. Aiming time, 2.3 on the T44, 2.9 on the T34, 2. Gun depression, minus 7, gun elevation, plus 23 on the T44. Gun depression, minus 5 only, plus 18 on the T34, 2. And yeah, basically T-34-2 is piece of shit, so you try to use uh, the 122mm gun on the uh, T-34-2, but on the T-44 I don't think it's actually worth it to switch out for the derp cannon. Before I forget, equipment I use is rammer, verse stabs, and coated optics. 380m view range is not perfect, but it will do with optics. You should get some crew skills to enhance it though as well, like... Uh, uh, situational awareness and recon, but um, other crew skills you want to have is obviously six cents repairs is nice, and I wouldn't bother with camo all that much. But if you have a lot of really good crew, you can go for camo as well. 
Stock round uh, as on most mediums is pretty damn bad, but you can get through it. The gun on the T43 sucks ass, and uh, you have to play with that on this tank quite a bit as well. So yeah, ha hang in there. Trying to get a kill on this 3090, uh, get it as well. No, the Tiger P. Sniping long distance one does, like three enemies uh, to my left is probably not the best idea, but then again, completely open shots, I'll take them, why not? As you see, the gun, uh, the aiming time and the accuracy on this gun is not horrible, so you can land these shots more often than not. That last one was just a bad example. Uh, and the Tiger P is gonna die if he keeps doing what he's doing now, and yeah, he's dead already. And I didn't even have to take part in it. Not aimed shot, uh, doesn't penetrate. So, now I need to investigate what's happening here, I need to provide eyes from the campers and need to see if we can take out of the take out these heavy things, that was a really poor shot, should know better than that. And now, I'll be surrounded here, but this is what T-44 is good at, it's good at outmaneuvering heavy tanks and uh, keeping them tracked, the rate of fire buff was obviously really nice, I don't know why they picked this tank over for T-34 too. Uh, to buff but uh, then again I'm not complaining. So Caravan had the repair kit that's really unfortunate for me. I need to track him again. I need to keep these fuckers still but I failed to do so. I need to run away from this target too and finish off the caravan. You really need to focus down your targets when you are outnumbered like I am here. So I have two tigers and uh, I'm not very healthy and I'm getting shot in the ass. Need to track that one again. Just can't allow them to move at all in this game and I'm just gonna run around this rock and be super annoying and they can't really do much and my campers are taking them out so there's no worries about this at all. So that's two down, one to go. This is not the best of trades ever but then again I was hoping that he's not gonna pen me but then again I'm a T44 I should be expected to be penetrated like that. Shot into Q Stock Tiger 2, scoop all the bounces off because reasons. And now this is pretty poor play, I'm not reloaded, I bounced the shot because I managed to move in time but uh, that was a pretty poor play, I shouldn't have sit there while still reloading. Now the Tiger 2 is going ham and he's gonna die. So now there's at least two tanks uh, to my left now, uh, where I'm looking at the moment, I need to fix my commander, which I will do any time now. If you thought that's a lot of corpses next to me, this is not it yet, uh, the T-44. Uh, full health, very keen on killing me now. Fix my commander. I didn't want to go out here sideways uh, like I do here uh, because of the. If one of them is paying attention, they could easily pen my uh, side like with the Type 64. But if I'm side scraping, the Type 64 doesn't stand much chance to pen me from that distance. So this is a good uh, spot to be in. And now the T44 is going ham. I shoot him in the hall. He shoots the Tiger 2's gun. There's no way I live through this. Like, no way. I can't fall back any more than this. I need to track him up on the hill. I failed to do so, but I'm pretty sure I'm alright, the gentleman. So his head falls off and only the type. And the T34 was there as well. I completely forgot about that one, but he's not really a threat at the moment anyways. So yeah, that's 1 versus 4 tier 8s and I still go out on top. Obviously, it wasn't all me. I had good support from the back, but then again, when you're camping back, the only thing you need to do is support people. So they did their part, and I, I did more than my part. That's for sure. So in a game like this, it's pretty good. The T44, it can keep, it it can compete with TRAs, but whenever you get higher tier matchmaking, this tank loses value so quickly. The Garbage penetration means that you can't really compete with tier 9s at all. You can't even compete with tier 9 mediums. You, like a T54, you can't pen that frontally at all with your AP ammo, which is really salty. But in games like this, it's pretty damn good. You can't really say it's bad. But then again, I would have, I would prefer to play any other tier 8 medium almost apart from the T34 too. So I would say this is one of the worst mediums, which doesn't say that it's a really bad tank though. But then again, standards at tier 8 are set pretty high, so T5044 falls behind most of the other tier 8 mediums. So, Ace Tanker, 2146 experience, 3458 assisted damage, and 3520 damage done. Played a really important role to take out most of their heavy tanks in this game, and 1431 basic speed to prove it. So yeah, the biggest grind I have with this tank is the poor AP penetration. It doesn't really compete with the other T8 mediums in that regard at all. And the closest tanks to this are the T8 premiums like the Type 59, uh, 
which is probably better than the T44 in every way, and the T34-3 is quite similar as well, and the T34-2, which is probably the worst medium tank at tier 8. I don't really see any other matches for this tank at all, so yeah, as tier 8s go, this falls behind, but it's still playable, it's still not horrible, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.